is going on, but today I'm going to be doing a um a, a type of video. It's going to be a redstone related video, and I haven't done any videos like this in my channel, so I'm really pumped and excited because I just started to get really not really good, but okay with um redstone, and I know a lot of stuff to make some cool traps, and I actually made a trap myself now it's not i didn't totally invent it this but there might be some traps that everyone probably already invented that is similar to mine but this is what i made without anything i just made it using my redstone knowledge wow. uh, prior oh knowledge God, so yeah i'm really pumped to show this to you um yeah this is what i'm going to do so this is the trap right here open here crap i feel like opening going through doors and what I do is set the pressure plate, and then the whole floor go goes down, and then it's evenly closed behind you. So, and using, uh, and that, it, usually, if you go on a pressure plate, it only closes behind you, it's because, um, if you come up here, um, this, um, piston, this, I have, I'm gonna actually, yeah, I'll, I'll explain everything later, after I, I'll show you one more time. So, go here, you try to escape, and you can't escape. And you're stuck here forever. It might be lava here. And yeah, or maybe a whole bunch of zombies or something. So yeah, and thanks. Um, this is basically a showcase of it. Next, um, I'm going to um, remove all the blocks and cut. Um, re I'm going to show all the redstone. And yeah, one sec. So basically, this is it. Um, what I really like about this trap, you can probably already see the redstone, is that it's really, really compact and tiny, and you can fit it into most places. And the reason why, as you can see, if I put, um, oops, I missed. If I put that there, it will fall, but it's kind of slow. So it, you can put it on any tick delay. I can have repeaters on a two tick delay. To make it better, I can put it on a three tick delay. So, oh crap, I forgot I was standing in the same spot. All right, so uh, I like putting it on the three tick delay on the repeaters to connect to the piston so that it's kind of hard for them to escape and it won't get pushed uh, um, immediately into the side here. So this is basically all the redstone. What happens is um, the reason why it acts like kind of like a button, the pressure plate acts like a button is because, um, oops, damn it, oh my god, oh, I'm so Stupid, but the reason this acts like a um, button is because usually this pressure plate is getting powered by you staying on it, and then the block under it is getting pulled, so the pressure plate becomes destroyed, and the redstone curtain stops, so then it retracts the piston. So I'll show you from here. As you can see, that happened. Yeah, so that's basically what happens and the redstone is this pressure plate powers this redstone which leads to an inverter and this block is just to hide the light coming through from when you fall into there so goes to here goes to inverter which is activating is going up up here and activating all these pistons using repeaters and you can put it on any tick delay and i like having on a three tick delay so like when it's when it's like that oops Usually repeater start off like that. I just do one. All right. Yeah. No. One, two, actually. So I go one, two, one, two. All right. So and that's called a three tick delay. You probably already know that. So basically, it's really simple redstone. You can put it into anywhere. Um. Yeah. There's not too many gates or anything like that. And it's simple and it's really, really freaking bad. And it's really effective because if you have like walls here. Because this is basically for like hallways and stuff. And you can have it in houses too to troll people. No, um, no, but not on servers. Because you're probably um, um, gonna get banned. But And if you hear my like sister or stuff in the background. Sorry for that. Um, And they can't dodge it. Because before when I made this trap. I didn't have five pistons. I only had this one piston here. So they can easily like step on the press plate. And then get out like that. But since there are five, because I noticed that, I, I, I figured that I could um, add more without affecting a lot of the person. So, yeah, it's basically really simple. All you need is, like, how much is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You need twelve redstone, one torch. Five repeaters, five pistons, and actually as many pistons and repeaters as you want. Actually, this actually all varies by how many pistons you want. If you want a really long hallway, like you can make this come. You can just keep on adding, adding it, and it. I don't think 
Maybe the, the redstone current will actually go down, so you can only add up to 15, maybe. I don't know, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, they're missing my trap. That's what I wanted to, uh, and that's what I wanted to do to showcase. And if you don't already know how to build it, that's it. So right now, I'm going to teach you how to build it. So here I am on a clean slate. Actually, it's not a clean slate, but the trap's right there. But I'm going to be going here. And this is what you need. Actually, you don't need this stuff. Basically, this is what you need. You actually need only one repeater. But, you know, this gives you a lot of repeaters in creative mode. So um, the resetting is kind of hard. You have to go to the trap, pick up the pressure plate, and place it back. Or, like, have a chest full of pressure plates. And it's really easy to reset since the, the, um, since the pistons automatically... Um, Retra retract and then go back to its on state so that's what i needed to do the piston needs to be on its on state and and then it needs to pull back to make sh make this thing free because if i make it off state and then i put the make the p um thing on of course this little you probably don't know but this you can stand on this thing it makes you go down so yeah we need that so it's really simple to build all i need to do is um that go one two three like that if you want you can go down one you need, you need to go down one and then you go after here you do that you add a redstone torch add the repeater and then to have a guide you can just break these two blocks right beside and then immediately play automatic like place the piston right now as you can see this inverts the signal already so if you put a torch down there so invert the signal and make this go off and then make this piston retract so then go one more out, and then go out here, and then what you do is you add um, how many pressure, um, how many um, what you call it? <laughs> sticky pistons you want. I'm gonna add five because that's what I that's that's what I find the most effective. And add three behind it. Okay, and then you add. Actually, no, you don't need this much. Um, sorry. Okay, so this is it. It's basically only, let's see, um, one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, seven. Five by seven. That's basically all it is. Simple redstone and real easy to build. So now once you have that, you do that. And actually, let me use this as a reference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is basically it. So... That's what it should look like. And does it look like that? Yeah. So actually, no, it doesn't. I don't know what. Um, let me see. There we go. Huh, I don't get this. I made this a bit bigger. Okay, let me see this. One sec, guys. Okay, so I realized that I made this a little bit different. As you can see, the redstone goes from the bottom, if you look that this way. But in this one, the redstone goes from its right it's for, for the pressure plate. See, the, the redstone is here, to the, is the right to the pressure plate. And this one, the redstone is, like, to the bottom of. So it doesn't make a difference. And basically, all you do is have an inverter, and then lead that leads to these five um, pistons. So then what, you, what happens if you go here? Oh, I forgot. Do the three tick delay to make it really f um good so that and they fall like that so of course you need to add the actual trap stuff one two three four five here we go once you do that there we go and you're trapped that's basically the gist of my trap, guys. Um, this is it, and all I have to do is add the pressure plate, and then you're done. This is my trap. It's really simple, and then simply add the blocks above it to cover it up, and there you go. You have my trap. Um, I hope um, you guys enjoy this video. I um, hope it give you a little idea of not just to build exactly my trap, but give you more ideas on how to build cool traps like using inverters, um, pistons, and automatically retracting and then unretracting pistons using you know um retracting the block that's under it like that so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video guys um this is the little because and the schedule i made like a long time ago with tutorials because 
and uh, tutorials on Saturdays and reviews on Sundays haven't been working too well because um, I'm really, really busy on the weekends. I go to so many places. So, yeah, but I just did this for a little tutorial and review type thing, just like my guide. And it's also in Minecraft, so it's like a three-in-one. It's really cool. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this cool little trap I made. It's not the best trap, but it's really effective and really trolly. Um, if that's even a word, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys put this into your build or s uh, something similar to this. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.